Hey guys, so I've mentioned on this channel before that I love collecting magazines that relate to a certain fandom, things like that, and I have done magazine collection videos before, but it needs updating, so this is my complete magazine collection. Now I have magazines for quite a few fandoms, so my, the bulk of my collection is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Harry Potter, but I also have magazines for Fantastic Beasts, True Blood, uh, Game of Thrones, Doctor Who, and all sorts of other little bits. So I'm trying to organise this video into sections. So we'll start with the three magazines I have in front of me, which are actually Scooby-Doo. So this is the first one, Scooby-Doo Official Collectors Magazine. I don't really collect Scooby-Doo, the movie, or anything merchandise, but I do have a few bits lying about. Pretty cool. I haven't actually read this cover to cover, so I think I probably need to. And I said three magazines in the beginning, but I actually only have two. Um, I thought I had three. This is Star Time Presents Scooby-Doo. The reason I thought I had three magazines was because I have this as well, which is like about the cards that you can collect but that's not actually a magazine and this one actually has about Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So we'll then go on to my Natalie Dormer magazine collection. I've said this a million times on this channel and YouTube, uh, Instagram sorry, but Natalie Dormer is my all-time favourite actor. Uh, I just love her. Um, I was thinking of doing a complete Natalie Dormer collection so if that's something you're interested in then please let me know. I posted the bulk of my Natalie Dormer collection on Instagram. But anyway, this is just the magazines. So we have TV Guide about the scandalous Lady W, ES Magazine, and uh, also, I just want to say, on Instagram, if you have me on Instagram, I did a couple of posts on these magazines where I show you inside as well. So, Stylist Magazine, I love that picture. Style Magazine. Culture. And Radio Times, again about the Scandalous Lady W, so I'm so close to getting a full, um, my aim is to get every magazine that has Natalie Dormer featured on the front cover, uh, and I'm really close to that, there's only a couple more that I need to get, so that's pretty exciting for me. So now we'll move on to the Hunger Games. I recently did a video on this channel about my Hunger Games collection, so please go and check that out if you'd like to. But we have Inside VUE, or VU, which is the cinema, I believe. I don't have one here, so I bought that online. We have Cineworld. We have an article from a magazine. I don't really collect many articles that's to do with the Hunger Games. And then Empire magazine. I am a huge fan of Empire and SFX magazines. You'll see quite a few of those as we go on. So next up we'll do my Game of Thrones magazines. So we have this SFX magazine, this SFX magazine, this FX, SFX magazine, some of these are subscriber covers but I'm not a subscriber unfortunately. This article about Kit and Rose, again like I said I don't really collect articles too much. Uh, TV Guide, TV and Satellite Week, and another TV and Satellite Week. So there's so many uh, magazines that are to do with Game of Thrones. What I like to do is try and collect the covers that have the fandom on the front of the cover. That's not always possible. Sometimes there's a big nice article about the fandom, but it's not the main cover. I try to get, you know, the fandom on the main cover. Game of Thrones will be impossible to finish for magazines because there's so many magazines that feature Game of Thrones on the front. But I'm still going. Um, the best place to get magazines if they're not in the shops is eBay and that's the place that I look for my magazines but I do check the shops occasionally to see if there's any new ones. Next up we'll do Doctor Who and I have quite a few Doctor Who magazines so I'll flick through them as quick as I can. We have this SFX magazine, this SFX magazine and um, a bunch of these came from, uh, some of them are from eBay but if you remember last year, maybe the year before, I can't actually remember, I went to a Star Rider anniversary thing near me locally and they had quite a few magazines for like 10 and 20 pence. So that's where these came from. A few of my Buffy ones too. So we have another SFX magazine. Again, I think some of these are subscriber covers. Another SFX magazine. This F SFX magazine, which is a 20th anniversary collector's edition. Not only does this have Doctor Who, but this also has Buffy and other bits. So that kind of is for the Buffy collection as well. Then we have this Doctor Who magazine, the very best of the first five decades. This NME Dunkirk magazine, actually. This is the free one that you get in HMV, but this is in my Doctor Who collection because it has Jodie Whittaker inside. Then we have this SFX magazine, 
And finally, this Doctor Who magazine that I picked up on eBay as part of a bundle. I don't really collect the Doctor Who magazines at all, you know, the official ones, because um, it can get quite expensive if I want to have the full collection. I do prefer things like SFX and Empire, but I do have that in my collection. So that's all my Doctor Who ones. So we now have a couple of miscellaneous magazines. Now it might be difficult to show you my entire magazine collection because if they are miscellaneous, not part of a fandom, then they are just scattered around my house so I don't have a place for them. But these are the ones I could find. So we have this Nintendo magazine and this is quite old actually. This is from August 1993, so this is technically one of my mom's magazines, she would have picked this up. And then we actually have a Cheats and Codes magazine for PS1 and PS2. Now, I don't know where they are, but we probably have a lot of cheat magazines for PlayStation games, which is quite bad really. So I probably have quite a few of these lying around, but I'm not going to show them in this video. Now we're on to my Buffy the Vampire Slayer magazines, and I have a lot of Buffy magazines, so we'll flick through these as quick as we can. So we have this German Screen Guide magazine, this Toy Fair magazine, and just to show you, this is the box that I keep my Buffy magazines in. It has to stay on the floor because my Buffy items are on shelves on top of my bed, and this is very heavy, so I have visions of waking up and this whacking me in the face one day. <laughs> so this stays on the floor. So we have this SFX 20 Years of Buffy, Dream Watch for Angel, another Dream Watch, another Dream Watch. Again, like I mentioned in this video, a lot of these Dream Watch and things came from that Star Rider anniversary. Another Dream Watch, which has Angel in the bottom left corner there. Uh, yet another Dream Watch for Angel. The subscriber edition of the 20 Years SFX magazine. Cult Times, another Cult Times, another Cult Times, probably one of my favourite covers. Then we have a couple of official Buffy the Vampire Slayer magazines. I do not have a full set, there's so many of them. But we have this one. This one, which is probably my favourite because Faith is my favourite character. Then back to SFX magazines. <laughs> TN Zone, or TV, TV Zone, sorry, I forgot, TV Zone. And finally for Buffy, another TV Zone, which also has Doctor Who, Stargate and other bits. So as you can see, that's how tall the Buffy box is now, so I need another one of these to continue getting some magazines. Next up we have this special SFX edition collection, Vampires, The Ultimate Celebration. This goes in my True Blood collection because it has a lot about True Blood, but it's also, you know, Buffy, anything with vampires really, so I love that one. And what came with that, I believe it came with it, is this True Blood magazine, which is all about True Blood, so that's why I keep it in the True Blood collection. Then we have a couple more SFX magazines. This one is The Hunger Games, so it should be in my Hunger Games collection, but I have actually put it in my Gotham collection. And then underneath, we have another SFX magazine. I've shown you these in a previous video and I've never opened them, so do you know what? I'm going to open it now. And here they are. I've finally seen what that one looks like, uh, again, in the Gotham collection, because there's Gotham. And we've moved location, so you know what that means. The bulk of my collection is Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts magazines. I have way too many than is necessary, so I'm going to go through them as quick as possible, and then we're done. So I do have a Cursed Child newspaper magazine thing under here. I think it's an event guide or something. I would show you, but I really, to be honest with you, can't be bothered to move all of that. But there is a Cursed Child magazine there. And then I have a few Fantastic Beasts magazines in this little box here. You can kind of see through. Now I'm not going to show you these either and the reason I've decided not to do that is because I very, very recently did a Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them complete collection. So you will have seen all those magazines in that. So if you haven't seen that, then please go and check that out if you're interested. But that's where I show you all of my Fantastic Beasts magazines. I just don't see the point in getting them out of the box when most of you who are watching this will have probably already seen that video. Okay, so here we go. This is my Harry Potter magazine box, so I'll flick through them as quick as I can for you, because I know you've probably seen most of these before. And as you can see, it's full to the brim, so again, I really need to buy more of these. Okay, so first up we have a magazine that's not actually anything to do with Harry Potter, but it's in the Harry Potter box because it stars Daniel Radcliffe, and it's Total Film about horns, which is one of my all-time favourite movies. I am obsessed with horns. I love the book as well, but that's a matter for another day. Then we have the special Harry Potter Collector's Edition of Vanity Fair. I love this. Time Out London. Again, I'm going to flick through these very quickly because I think I've done a separate video on these. I'm not sure. Then we have this Kerrang! magazine. Nothing to do with Harry Potter but Jamie Campbell Bower, so it's in here. <laughs> it does actually say the words Harry Potter Punk Hero, so it counts. Then we have this Empire magazine. Again, another one of my all-time favourite Harry Potter magazines. 
We have Total DVD, The Big Issue, this very, very badly damaged gamers um, magazine. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I'm going to have to buy this again. The front cover has come off completely. Games Master. This was from eBay and it was bought like this. Uh, so I did get my money back, but I managed to keep the magazine. So I need to buy that again. Then we have this Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which came free, I presume, with News of the World Telegraph. Woman's Weekly about J.K. Rowling. This Empire magazine. And finally, Radio Times. So I do have a couple of newspaper and magazine articles that are either pinned up on the wall or around the Harry Potter room. I'm not going to go through all of the articles. I think I actually did that in a previous video. This is just showing you physical, you know, full magazines. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So unless I have any magazines in my Pirates of the Caribbean collection, which is downstairs, so I can't check right now, there might be a magazine for Pirates of the Caribbean. But if there's not, then that's all the magazines that I have to show you today. So like I said, there's probably some miscellaneous hanging around, but these are the ones that I've got for the video. So thank you very much for watching. I'm very sorry it's quite long, but as you can see, I have way more than is necessary. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of thing and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye!